The typical drag race car is full of mechanical relays, fuses, circuit breakers, and timers. The SmartWire device replaces all of those items with one compact solid state unit. Not only does it reduce the complexity of wiring in the vehicle, it also provides complete programmable control over all the outputs to the accessories in the vehicle. In drag racing, some typical inputs you'd see wired into a smart wire would be trans brake input, clutch input, wide open throttle, line lock, and now any of those inputs can be used to control any of the outputs on this device. It can be used as a standalone device or it can be incorporated with any of Racepack's VNet series accessories, including our digital dash displays or our line of data loggers. Let's take a look at a basic example of using a smart wire in a drag race vehicle. Let's say the vehicle already has a V300 system in it with a digital dash and a couple of accessories including water temperature. What we want to accomplish in this example is we want to turn the electric fan on automatically at a given temperature range. All of these devices on the VNet can communicate with the smart wire via the T-cable plugged into the VNet port on the smart wire device. Now that we have all of the components talking to each other, it's time to go in and program this for what we want it to do. What we're trying to accomplish here is we're going to automatically turn on the electric fan at a given temperature in the vehicle. So we can program to turn the electric fan on at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if you would like and you are running the sw optional switch panel with there, you can program the switch to override it manually so you can cool the car down in the pits between rounds. But as you run the car normally, the fan would automatically turn on at the given temperature you programmed it to. Now let's take that example to the next level and add some complexity to it. Let's say you have two electric fans. So we want to tell the fans to come on at two different temperatures to reduce power consumption if we're not worried about the heat so much. So we can program the first electric fan to turn on at 160 and the second fan to turn on at 165, 170, 180. You pick, you decide, you program it. Another option, if you were running a wide open throttle switch on your car and you had that input wired into the smart wire, you could also tell the smart wire to turn the fans off while the car's at wide open throttle. So when the car's at wide open, running down the racetrack, the electric fan's not on, regardless of where the switch position is or what temperature it is. But as soon as you lift off the gas on the other end, if it's above the threshold it's supposed to be, the fans will turn back on automatically. All currently available VNet devices can communicate with the Racepack smart wire, including the MSD power grid and any of the Racepack VNet EFI modules. Thanks for watching this video, and if you have any more questions, please go to racepacksmartwire.com.